What's up guys, welcome back to another video and in this video we are going to be talking about continuous integration with Angular and Firebase. So what's this continuous integration? Let's keep it aside for a moment and then uh, talk about our web development in general. In general when you finish writing your web application using Angular uh, and Firebase and or Firebase, uh, what you'll do is you'll start running your tests on your application. Once all the tests are passed, then what you'll do is you'll deploy your application to a uh, hosting provider, right? And the hosting provider uh, in turn will give you a URL, which you can then use in your custom domain that you have purchased and then uh, use this URL as the redirect URL there so that all the users arriving at that domain will be uh, looking at your web application that you wrote, right? So this is the this is part of the whole process of uh, web development. Now continuous integration, what it does is that once you finish writing all your code locally and uh, you have tested your code locally, what you can do is you can simply commit the code to your uh, repository. And then once you push the code to that uh, particular repository, it will automatically take the code, start running your tests on it. Once the tests are passed, then it will automatically deploy your code to the uh, hosting service provider to your hosting provider okay so that's exactly what continuous integration does which means that it takes a large amount of burden away from us we just need to test our code locally and then push it on uh, uh, to our uh, repositories and if the tests fail obviously we need to fix all those uh, failure conditions and then push it again so that it gets deployed yeah so if the tests fail then obviously it won't be deployed so that uh, there is a scenario wherein we won't be pushing wrong code or uh, the, uh, the possibility of occurrence of bugs is reduced, right? That's what I'm trying to say here. So that's exactly what is uh, continuous integration. There are a lot of pro providers that provide this service, uh, Travis CI, Circle CI, the famous ones among them. In this video, we'll be using one such provider called GitLab, okay? GitLab is a pretty much famous one and it, let's see how to, we'll see very basic ones, not even tests, we'll see how to uh, make uh, Angular, Firebase, uh, I mean, we'll see how to make this app that you built with Angular and Firebase uh, go to deployment through this GitLab automatically. Okay, first I have scaffolded out an application uh, as you can see here and I have installed Angular, Fire 2 and Firebase in this as well. Next, I'll do the configuration part. Now, what I usually do is while building uh, large applications or even small applications, that doesn't matter. When While building web applications, I usually first create an application called development. Ang fire dev. This is a project. Okay. Okay, the project is created. And I'll also add a... Uh, This will be the production app. This is how I do it usually. Now let's get into the development app and uh, let's work on this. The process will be similar for production as well, but let's start with this. So we'll get into authentication and then click on web setup. I'll get the configuration from here. This entire configuration. Copy this, go to environments, environment.ts, give a comma here and paste this and obviously do like this. Okay, this is done, right? This is cool. The next thing you do is uh, uh, you will change this app.com, remove all these and say this is my This is my uh, deployed app. This is my automatically deployed app. Okay. Now if I run this application, no, first I should uh, import all these stuff, right? So far so good, we just have an application. Now I'll run this app. See, this is my, app. No, basically nothing. We are just having a screen, that's it. No other stuff in this. Now I'll get into GitLab, create an account first and then once you create, you'll get a screen like this. Click on new project. 
and here you can simply uh, do a first first test okay mm, test project create a project this was successfully created obviously and uh, get in it before doing the committing and pushing thing what i'll do is uh, i'll start working on my hosting side so for uh, working on my hosting side what i need to do is i could simply i already have made a video on hosting using firebase kindly i'll link it below in the description kindly go through it once and then uh, you, you you need the firebase tools library for doing this i have installed this in this machine so i'm just going to move on so firebase uh, login already logged in firebase in it okay simply choose hosting and in this ang fire dev this is the project that we were we are about to use right so we'll choose that and what do you want oh i for i didn't give this right you would need to build the app first before giving this entire firebase in thing guys now get in here and uh, naturally you would see that we have an entire build process now if you just give firebase deploy it will deploy right uh, what we need to do is we need to configure our ca in order to do that for us so uh, what you do is you just go here and then firebase login colon ca okay this is done successfully right once that is done successfully you will get a key like this okay simply take this copy this and go back into your project settings and there is something called ci cd right click on that in the secret variables click on expand add that here you just type as uh, firebase deploy key okay sorry and click on save variables this is done okay uh, the next thing you need to do is go to ca cd there will be something called environments click on that click on new environment okay here simply uh, write the environment name give it as develop sorry development and the external url would be obviously not this url it will be the url of get into hosting there is a new oh get started there is a url here right simply copy sorry simply copy this and uh, go here sorry go here and paste it click on save oh, okay click on save and this is saved as well right uh, now we can deploy this project deploy our project here or if we just push the code here it should automatically start to deploy so for that uh, we should write a configuration using a uh, yaml file okay uh, so uh, let's go ahead and do that now before that i'll go into package.json and add a couple of scripts here to handle the deployment okay and uh, here as well i'll simply give build development ng build come on okay and then i'll go ahead and create a uh, file this file will be gitlab sorry gitlab ca dot yml now that this is created let's write some code in that okay this is pretty much uh, this is pretty much self explanatory guys what we are doing is we just have one stage you need to get, have multiple stages like uh, build build stage and then testing stage and then third one should be this deployment stage but just for an example for showing you that's all right for showing you how that's done i am simply doing i am i'll simply write one stage alone 
this is the deploy stage and in this stage what i'll do is i'll simply install all my modules and then uh, run build dev build dev will nothing will be nothing but this one ng build and the one more thing is npm run deploy which will obviously deploy this using our firebase token that we specified here uh, so that it gets deployed onto our uh, firebase application i mean that hosting okay let's see how this runs first time it will take a lot of time the second time it will automatically use this uh, catch the uh, node modules directory so it will be much much faster uh, so yeah let's i'm going to push the code git add git status okay this is pushed now let's see if this automatically triggers a job yeah it triggered right and that job was deployed the one that we gave where was it yeah the one that we gave here and it's running so in order to see the logs of this particular job what you can do is just click on that and it will automatically show the logs of that particular job now first time it will take some time so let's just wait oh we got an error uh, firebase not found yeah obviously we need to specify that we need to install uh, since we are using wait i'll show you why this error occurred since we are using uh, the firebase commands directly we need to install firebase tools as well in gitlab right but we haven't done that because there we haven't added wait npm install firebase tools save this is done now let's push it again and see what happens it's pushed and uh, naturally that triggered a new job this new job should go fine let's see what happens i'm sorry guys that failed again as you can see here this is because we didn't add any uh, project called development here right if you notice here in the logs you can see that invalid project solution please verify project development exist and you have access that's because we didn't add that in our firebase configuration file right now that we have added let's push the code again and see what happens as you can see here we get a passed message right so this test has passed and the time it had taken was 3 minutes 10 seconds uh, it will be much faster when it starts using the node modules from cache guys that is when you start pushing multiple uh, commits on the code but uh, now let's see if it's actually deployed as you can see here we have uh, uh the notification for i mean the deployment history we have that particular uh, thing right let's open this as well and check what happens see we get the title of our project and this is my automatically deployed app so now you have seen how to use gitlab ca to automatically uh, deploy your app successfully to firebase right similarly we can run run tests on it before deploying wait i'll show you this thing right git yml function now i have uh, a stage that now i have something a job that will run only when some code is pushed on to master right or when only only when, when the master branch is uh, modified in some way so uh, if similarly we can create jobs for different branches usually i do for two branches one is for the development and another one is the master branch and the development whatever thing uh, i do i'll deploy it onto the development app in firebase as well check if everything goes fine and then do the same for uh, the what's that production version of the same similarly you can write a job for testing running all the tests and only when all the tests are passed uh, both for m m master and the development branch and uh, then you can move on to this particular uh, deployment thing as well so uh, usually what you'll do is first you will uh set up that is install all the node modules and other stuff that's necessary second thing is you will uh, write for write a job for testing third thing is you will write a job for deployment that's that's how you will uh you know gradually process this entire uh deployment process through gitlab so uh yeah this is what i wanted to show you guys today this is a basic example in our next video we'll see how to do testing uh, how to bring in testing inside this as well so that all the tests are run before our app is deployed uh, hit like if you like this video guys and if you found this helpful kindly share it with someone and help them too thanks for watching guys i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye